Tomorrow here on a beautiful October 22nd uh, Indian summer day here, uh, Saturday in South Salido, California. I'm on a lesson with uh, Chris Coomber and um, during the lesson here, uh, talking to him about the wrist snap, you know, uh, it became important to maybe even shoot a quick video right here, right now for you guys and uh, make it clear here what this wrist snap is all about because it's pretty major, it's pretty big, most of all on the modern forehand, you know, there's a lot of uh, wrist snap going on to do it correctly, but if it's not well explained uh, You fall into what a lot of my clients are falling into which is the old uh, Pinball machine flipper wrist snap which takes away all the precision from the stroke and uh, Makes you spray balls all over the place So it adds power to the stroke for sure every time you snap the wrist But you know if you don't have the correct snap it will uh, uh, Change the direction of the ball so uh, here's a quick video for you guys just explaining what, I, what this wrist snap is supposed to be like, okay? Let's say I'm hitting my forehand here with a the regular Eastern grip and I got the wrist cocked back and I'm gonna hit it out in front here. I'm gonna make it right in front of my t-shirt here so you guys can really see clearly what I'm doing. As I'm hitting the ball here, if I snap the wrist this way, it's wrong. You know, that's what makes the racket head change in a fraction of a second, and then you lose the accuracy of your stroke. So that's not what you're trying to do. Flip it like if you had uh, your hand be like the hinge of a door, for example, you know, of a gate. That's not what a wrist snap or flick is supposed to be like. Unless you're saving a late ball, you know, you ground after it and you're defending a ball back here maybe or something like that or you get close to the net and you want to make a trick shot and you fool your opponent, you might do a little bit of a flick in that way. But the wrist flick that we're talking about, the wrist snap that we want to explain here on the big forehand of the modern forehand that you see the pros doing today, it actually happens like this. When the player strikes the ball right here, instead of the wrist acting like this, it acts like this and it makes your racket work over the top of the ball and not around it on the outside coming across like this. So it's important to understand that the wrist snap does this to the racket. And it makes it go over it and then makes the ball tumble forward which creates that top spin, that heavy spin. So here we go, once again. It's not this that we're looking for. We are looking for this. And that's how you see that finish here, you know, you see the finish with the wrist like this, but it's not because they did this. They did this. Came over the ball, and then it finished like that. So it finishes bent, but on the moment of impact, once again, the wrist should be acting like, let me see the best view here possible, it's going to be right here. Understand that, guys? Once again, real close up, this is not what you want to do, this is what you want to be doing over. That's the wrist snap for you guys. Go out there, practice. Let me know if you understood how it works. And uh, let me know if you're still getting the ball to go straight out towards the target where you want it to go, even when you add the wrist snap. The intention is to give you more power and more top spin. Cheers. Coach Morrow signing off. See you next video. Take care, guys. Bye.